In this fifth video on sentence diagramming, we're going to talk about verb forms, which we call verbals, which look like verbs but don't act like verbs. There are three main types, participles, gerunds, and infinitives. This first video on verbals is going to concentrate on present and past participles. A participle is a form of a verb which is functioning as an adjective. Present participles are an ing form of a verb functioning as an adjective, and past participles are ed, an en, or a t form of a verb functioning as an adjective, sometimes as adverbs. So let's look at an example of a present participle an ing form of a verb which functions as an adjective. You notice in this example our participle is going to be modifying a noun, our subject. Let's take the sentence the barking dogs are annoying. We have two words here that look like verbs. We have the be verb are and we have barking. However, the dogs aren't barking here. This is just describing which dogs, indicating which dogs, the ones that are barking. And that, barking, is our participle. Our main verb is the be verb are. It's a linking verb, linking our subject to a, to a predicate adjective, annoying. Dogs is our subject. Annoying is our subject complement, in this case a predicate adjective, which we could diagram as a uh, present participle also, but we're, for simplicity's sake we'll just call it an adjective. Our present participle is barking. It functions as an adjective but it's a participle, a present participle. We also have the article, the. To diagram it, we draw our baseline and our bisecting line. Our subject is dogs. Our verb is the linking verb, are, and it's linking our subject to the subject complement or in this case predicate adjective, annoying. We have an article modifier, the, and now finally we have our present participle which is functioning as an adjective, modifying dogs the barking dogs. Now to diagram a present participle or a past participle, we draw a slanted line attached to a horizontal line and our participle kind of slides in between them. Participle is barking. Now along with present participles, we also have past participles. A past participle is a ed, an en, or a t form of a verb functioning as an adjective. So we have this example, and we'll take this sentence the lost and exhausted campers trudged through fallen snow. And we have four words here that look like verbs. We have lost, the past tense of lose, exhausted, the past tense of exhaust, and fallen, the perfect form of the verb fall. Our main verb is trudged. And it's an intransitive verb. Um, because we'll have no direct object. It is an action verb. 
Our subject is campers. And we have one more noun, snow. Then we have these other three words that look like verbs, but they are our past participles. Lost. T form of a past participle. Exhausted. An ED form of a past participle. Functioning as an adjective. And we have fallen. An EN form of past participle. In this sentence we have a preposition through and a conjunction and. And again the article modifier the articles we don't put codes on. So to diagram it we draw our baseline and draw our, in, our intersecting line. We're going to leave a lot of room here because these participles take up a little bit more room when we're diagramming them. Our subject is campers. Our verb is trudged. Walked with great effort. We have our article modifier, the. And then two participles, which will be joined together by a conjunction. Our first past participle is lost. Our next past participle is exhausted. These words in other sentences could be used as verbs, but in this case they're modifying campers, telling us which campers. The lost and exhausted campers. And we'll join these two past participles together with the conjunction AND. When we diagram conjunctions, we use the broken or dotted line between them. Then we have a prepositional phrase, through fallen snow. The preposition is through. Snow is the object of the preposition, which is a noun. And fallen will be our past participle. This prepositional phrase is functioning adverbally. It's modifying trudged. Trudged where? Through fallen snow. Snow is the object of the preposition, a noun. And fallen is our past participle modifying snow. Which snow? The fallen snow. And that's participles. We'll move on now to gerunds and infinitives.